Well, hello and welcome to the new song cafe here at worshiptogether.com. Today I'm spending some time with Joel Houston and Taya Smith from Hillsong Worship and we're looking at the song Broken Vessels. So sit back and enjoy this new song cafe. Well guys, welcome. It's great to have you with us today, Joel, Taya. Thank you. You guys well? Yes, very well. So today we're talking about Broken Vessels, mm. in brackets, Amazing Grace. This is a fantastic song from the No Other Name album for Hillsong Worship. Joel, talk to us about this song before we start getting it, because there's so much great stuff in this song. Just yeah. tell us how this song came about, the journey of it. Yeah, I love how this song came about, because um, I feel like we fell into it. And by we, I mean uh, Jonas Myron and myself. Yeah. And um, we got together. Jonas, I've known for many, many, many years, and we've actually never written together. Um, and we always kind of would joke about it, because uh, you know he's always writing with all these people, and. And uh, I'm like, are you serious, Jonas? Like, you're not going to make time for your old friend type thing, you know? <laughs> so anyway, he, he called me one time and he was in New York. And uh, I said, well, what are you doing tomorrow? That's right. And he's like, yeah, absolutely. So he came by and uh, we talked for a couple of hours just about life and God. And, and um, we kind of sat down and started writing No Other Name. And that was I kind of set a goal to just kind of work on this song. And, um, and you know we were working 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 on it and then somewhere in the midst we kind of took a break and i showed him this verse uh, for broken vessels and and um and I, you know sh showed him the verse and he loved it and he goes he goes let me take it let me take it and work on it. i said yeah you can take it wherever you like you know so a few months later um we didn't finish either song by the way we kind of had just hung out and we didn't finish anything we just kind of hung out a few months later um we were in australia and um and had kind of almost forgotten about the song. Like I'd, I'd been working on uh, No Other Name a lot, like kind of got that one finished, just trying to get that across the line for church. And um, we got back together in Australia and we sat down and, and finished No Other Name, which was like this huge win. And then uh, I said, oh, what about that other song? Because we still had a little bit of time. It was like, we had a couple of hours left in this little studio. And, and he goes, oh, you know, I've, I worked on a couple of choruses and he played me a couple of things. and. Um, I just didn't, they weren't very good. He wouldn't mind me saying that because he didn't think they were good either, but it just didn't feel right. Mm. And so I remember saying to him, um, I, I said, because I had the lyric, you know, the whole thing is kind of built on uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 7, just the idea, you know, he sets his treasure in jars of clay, uh, being us, mm. uh, so that this all surpassing power um, the people would see would they would know it's from God and not from us and I love that thought because mm. it just makes sense of everything to mm. me and um and so kind of had the, the lyric there and I said to Jonas I said look just write like just don't write the chorus that you think should go there for church just write whatever kind of comes naturally I went outside to grab a coffee or something and I walked back inside and he was singing uh, Amazing Grace and he was just singing it with these different chords and so the melody sounded a little bit different and I was like that's beautiful and he's like, yeah, you know, we could change the lyric. And, and, um, and I said, maybe we don't have to, you know. And, um, and next thing you know, he just kind of came out of it. And I was actually playing the guitar. And I just went, uh, went to the one chord. And he just went straight into I Can See You Now. And it was just a natural kind of, uh, you know, I was, was blind, but now I see. And um, just I can see, like, what can we see? So, well, now I can see you now. You know, I can see what you did for me on the cross. Mm -hmm. You know, I can see that you were broken so that my brokenness could be healed and i just felt like a great kind of extension to to that and you know you approach a song like amazing grace with fear and trembling yeah. you know because you, you never you know I mean, chris tomlin did it and nailed it and it's like um but it was really accidental it just kind of flowed the verse lyric and amazing grace just kind of made sense because it doesn't make any sense otherwise yeah. how how is it that you know we can operate with the power of god in us mm that he would put his treasure in broken vessels like us. It doesn't make any sense outside of God's amazing, scandalous grace. Yeah. And, uh, and the whole point of it is that we can see, uh, we can see clearly now. Yeah, I love that. Because even dynamically, the song builds, you do that pre-chorus, which is the amazing grace part. Mm. And then it climaxes that I can see you now. Mm. It's, and even that, if you get that as a revelation, as you mm. sing that, it's quite powerful. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, so it's been fun. It's great. Well, let's hear the song. I was yeah. Taya. Can't wait for you to sing this. <laughs> Oh, 
these pieces broken and scattered in mercy gathered mended and whole empty handed but not forsaken I've been set free I've been set free Sweet the song It saved a wretch like me Whoa, I once was lost And now I am found Was blind but now I see Oh, I can't see it now Oh, I can't see the Yeah. We just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Just keep going. Dang. Nice Good job. job. <laughs> um, all right, let's talk about what you're playing there. Yeah. Um, we're in the key of G. G. Um, and it's yeah. I mean, you can play it any different way. I don't know why I played it that way that time, but it's it, it works. just works. And, yeah. um, so I'm just playing. A, it's just it's just an E minor to a G. The verse mainly says that. I'm just leaving it open. I just like it. Um, just E minor to G, and then the melody kind of swings up um, the last time. And then it goes to the D. Then there's E minor, D, and then it comes up the four, it just runs up. Back on the four, it stays there. It's like a D, but with a C sharp. The chorus G, D, E. I just kind of hold that. Let that G right ring underneath here. Yeah. This thing feels yeah. nice. Yeah. Right. And then, um, and then we um, reprise kind of the Amazing Grace bit. I don't know. I like the I like building it up, and we, we never did it on the actual recording. Yeah. We just kind of would build up and drop out every yeah. single time, which was nice. Yeah. But for church, I think what has really worked for us is to kind of uh, build it up and then go back into Amazing Grace and kind of open it up yeah, if you have right. a band. And, yeah. But yeah. Otherwise, you just like we did then. Just yeah, yeah. On those uh, brighter chords. Do you find? Um, and if you're looking at a worship set for a particular service, where do you find this song really sits well? Yeah, I mean, I, I like it as a song three for us. Mm -hmm. I think um, it's a it's a nice setup song to kind of yeah. finish with something a bit more um, triumphant or mm -hmm. like because uh, it, it, in a way it kind of unpackages the cross. Um, and uh, you know, we used it last year for our Easter um, Good Friday, mm -hmm. like just kind of this idea of uh, you know what did Jesus see on the cross. I love like the idea that Jesus saw us here and now. He saw us healed and whole. He saw his treasure in our broken yeah, right. vessels yeah. from the cross, and that's why he went through with it. No. Yeah. So it, to me, it's a um, it's like a the song before maybe like second last song in a worship set, or the first one just kind of get everyone Jesus focused. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I know you've led this lots of times as well. Mm -hmm. Do you find when you get to the pre-chorus, you just kind of pull back, let people sing? Totally. Amazing idea. Yeah, I definitely think it's um, very congregational, and. Um, yeah, it's actually something really special when you do get to that moment because it's definitely like a personal revelation. I mean, every time you sing it of God's yeah. grace and mm. when you do step back, 
people just want to sing it and whether you land on on the chorus part or you come back into amazing grace and you drop down and it's just beautiful yeah it's great yeah fantastic it's really great song absolutely love it so thanks guys thanks for being with us thanks for having us appreciate it